Neville Goddard suggested several techniques to the students to manifest money, including the ladder technique and the SATS technique, but don't you think these are the general techniques that can be used to manifest anything? Is there any special money manifesting technique suggested by Neville Goddard? Yes, there is a technique that most people don't know about, even the experts are unaware of this secret technique. Here in this video, I will reveal this technique, so make sure you watch this video till the end so that you can understand the whole procedure of practicing this technique. And if you are new to this channel, make sure to subscribe by hitting the subscribe button. Let's now uncover it. Neville Goddard talked about the odor of money many times in his books and lectures. He mentioned the smell of money and odor in general as aids to manifestation. Neville Goddard suggested smell money as a technique to manifest money. In one of his lectures, he says, a money bag is more fragrant to a miser than all the flowers in the world. Money has a distinct odor, and we can distinguish the odor of money. If you want to manifest money, you must often smell the odor of the money. Why is it so important to smell the odor of the money in order to manifest it? Well, let me explain it to you. As you know, we have five senses. These senses actually enable us to be aware of the existence of something, even if that something is invisible. The sense of touch allows us to feel things by touching them. The sense of taste allows us to taste different food items. The sense of hearing enables us to hear sounds and distinguish between different sounds. Our eyesight enables us to know what a particular thing looks like. The sense of smell enables us to know the odor of different things. Let's say someone has no sense of smell. Do you think he would be able to know the odor of a certain thing? Or if a person is blind, would he be able to know about the existence of a particular thing? So what I'm trying to explain to you is that our senses make us conscious of the smell, shape, appearance, taste, size, color, and sound of things. Consciousness or awareness is something that is most important when it comes to manifesting something through imagination or visualizations. Do you think you can effectively visualize a particular thing if you aren't aware of its appearance, color, size, sound, or taste? No, you wouldn't be able to imagine it perfectly if you already had no idea about its appearance, taste, color, or smell. So that's why our senses help us imagine our desires. Now when it comes to manifesting money, you are required to visualize it according to Neville Goddard's Law of Assumption. Do you think you can visualize it effectively if you aren't sure what it smells like? If you really want to manifest money, you must have an idea of what it smells like and what it looks like so that you can visualize it effectively. Smelling money isn't only recommended by Neville Goddard, many other experts also recommend doing so. When you smell your money or see the currency note more often, a clear picture of the note gets imprinted in your subconscious mind. And when you visualize the money, you can do so effectively and even feel its odor while doing so. When all of your senses are involved in visualizations, you see them more clearly. Let's take an example. Suppose that you want to manifest a new home and you are going to practice visualization techniques to manifest it. How would you imagine it if you had no idea of its size or appearance? Do you have a clear picture of what your desired house looks like? How many rooms will your dream house have? What would the color and location of your dream home be? If you are clear on every aspect of the home you desire, then you will imagine it clearly and chances are great that you will manifest it very soon. But on the other hand, if you have no clear idea of what sort of home you want to manifest, then you probably will not be able to imagine it. When you have a clear picture, you can imagine it vividly. So just like that, you must have a clear picture of money in order to manifest it. You must have a clear idea of the smell of the money. You have to have a clear idea of the size of the dollar bill. You have to have an idea of the appearance of the currency notes so that you can imagine them vividly. Money has a distinct odor, and those who have ever smelled it well, know it well. If I put a piece of money before your nose and you close your eyes, what are you smelling? You know exactly what you're smelling. It's money. You can smell it. Money has an odor all its own. Blindfold yourself and smell a dozen different pieces of paper. Make one of them a dollar, five, or ten dollar bill, and the moment it reaches your nose, you will know it is money, for there is something different about it. Even scientists say that money has a very distinct and unique odor. The odor of the money is unique, like a thumbprint. A scientific study suggests we can distinguish between 10,000 odors. The sense of smell in humans is more powerful than we think. Research published in Discover magazine shows that scientists have agreed that even emotions have their unique odors, and when we smell something, the odor travels to the parts of the brain in the form of emotions, more commonly known as signals. So what does money smell like? 
Dollar bills are made of cotton and linen, and different types of ink are used for different denominations. But the smell of the money is largely affected by what it comes into contact with, such as dirt, sweat, and many other things. But whatever comes in contact with it, money has a unique odor. Smelling the money improves your visualizations, and if you really want to manifest money, you must smell its odor. You should touch it with your feelings so that you can feel its touch. You should see the money often with complete focus so that the picture of money gets imprinted in your mind. Involve as many senses as you can so as to enhance the effectiveness of your imagination. When you imagine something, don't just see it, feel it, smell it, hear it, and touch it. Feelings and emotions are one of the most important ingredients in manifestation. But have you ever thought about what it is that creates feelings? What are the things that create certain emotions? Your senses are responsible for creating feelings and emotions. Even your consciousness and awareness completely depend on your senses. You can't become conscious of something if you can't see it, touch it, smell it, or hear its sound. If you don't have all the senses, you are dead. If you can't speak, if you can't hear, if you can't smell, if you can't touch, if you can't see, and most importantly, if you have no feelings or emotions, you are dead. So when more senses are involved in visualizations, your mind accepts the visualizations as real, and then feelings and emotions are produced. When people are asked to visualize their desires, they just imagine them, but just imagining your desires will not work until you involve your senses in your imagination. The senses make your images look real. When more senses are involved, like the sense of smell, the sense of touch, and the sense of hearing, it feels real. Neville Goddard suggests that you imagine vividly, and you are required to put all of your senses to use when you are imagining your desire. We are now clear on why it is crucial to smell the odor of money to manifest it, but the question is, what is the best way to smell it? Well, what I'm suggesting you do is involve as many senses as you can. Don't just smell the odor of the money. Make sure you touch it with feelings. Take a dollar bill in your hand. Look at it. What does it look like? What is its appearance? What is its size? How does it feel when you touch it? The best way to smell the odor of money is to take some dollars in your hand and hold them near your nose. Take a deep breath, inhale, and exhale. Do this for as long as you can. Do it daily. Sit alone for a while in some open area, like the lawn of your home. Calm down and relax your body. Now take some dollar bills in your hand and hold them close to your nose. Smell it and feel it. Move your hands on the dollar bills and feel their touch. Take a deep breath and inhale the odor. While you are smelling the odor of the money, I recommend you visualize your desire. Imagine yourself getting money in unexpected ways. Imagine yourself going to the market and purchasing all the desired things. When you combine visualizing the money with smelling the odor of the money, it does wonders, and you quickly get the desired amount of money. Believe me, this is one of the most effective ways to manifest money quickly. But you can still make it more effective. Here, I have a recommendation for you on how you can make this technique even more effective. Well, how does it sound to you if you smell the odor of the money while holding it in your hand, visualize your desire, and speak positive affirmations to yourself at the same time? What I recommend is that you use affirmations in addition to holding money in your hand, smelling it, and visualizing your desire. The combined effect of these three strategies has the potential to do wonders. If you have tried hundreds of techniques and they have all failed, use this strategy and I assume success. Now let me tell you how you can practice what I have suggested. Hold a dollar bill in your hand or a few currency notes. Close your eyes and hold the dollar bill close to your nose. Take a deep breath and start visualizing a scene in which you imagine yourself having a lot of wealth and buying everything that you desire. In addition to this, keep on inhaling and exhaling slowly. While doing this, speak positive affirmations aloud. Here I have an effective affirmation to suggest to you. Money comes to me easily and effortlessly. This is the most powerful affirmation when it comes to manifesting money. So while visualizing your desire and smelling money, speak this affirmation to yourself. Make sure you sit alone and do this for 10 to 15 minutes. You can extend the duration if you're comfortable. But remember that you must do all the processes with feelings and emotions. When you speak affirmations to yourself, you are using the sense of speech. When you listen to the affirmations you speak to yourself, you use the sense of hearing. When you hold money in your hand, you use the sense of touch. When you smell your money, you use your sense of smell. So here, almost all of your senses are involved, enhancing the effectiveness of this technique. Now the question is, for how many days should one practice this technique? Well, it depends on many factors like who you are, what your current status is, and how much money do you want to manifest. 
It also depends on your way of thinking and your beliefs. If you don't have any limiting thoughts in your mind, you will manifest money in just a few days. Some people have manifested money in just one day with this technique. So if you practice this technique while believing that it works and you don't have any negative thoughts, then it can help you manifest money in one day. But if the amount of money you want to manifest is large, then it may take up to seven days. You have to be patient and believe that money is about to come into your life in some unexpected ways. I hope I was able to deliver a good analysis of this money-smelling method by Neville Goddard. And of course, this doesn't mean we agree with every single thing he said or believed in, because in the end, everyone will form his or her own opinion, and that is why we are analyzing and discussing his ideas and methods to fully understand his approach and general ideas, as well, Neville Goddard was a great mystic and writer in the previous century. His teachings have brought revolution and a complete change to the lives of millions of people. People who studied his teachings and applied them to their lives became successful in every part of their lives. If you want to share your opinion, comment down below this video. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel, please subscribe to it and press the bell icon for more interesting, informative, and helpful videos on manifestation. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.